What's up guys? Today I'm going to be bringing you a video on replacing your DI resin for your RODI units. Um, today I'm going to be using the uh, BRS, uh, deionizing resin, deionization I should say. Um, this is not particularly the uh, DI resin that I recommend. Um, I got this filling an order and I misunderstood uh, what I was getting. I'm not saying that this is bad DI resin, but for my application, my water here in Arizona, um, I recommend the uh, SpectraPure uh, Silica Buster. Um, Non-color changing, I don't get the color changing DI resin because the color changing resins uh, seem to uh, go out much quicker. Um, but for now, since I have this DI resin, I'm just going to use it. Uh, like I said, um, this isn't what I would generally, <clears throat> excuse me. This isn't what I would generally uh, recommend. Um, again, I'm not saying this is bad at all. Um, I'm sure it's a great uh, DI resin, um, but just through my experience, the Silica Buster uh, from SpectraPure is uh, my go-to uh, resin. But like I said, I got this one, so I'm gonna use it. Um, so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go out to uh, my RO unit and we're gonna get uh, all right, so here we are at my RODI unit. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and uh, unhook the hoses because um, right now I'm gonna actually drain the entire unit. Okay, and then take off this. Okay, now I need to take off the wastewater line. Okay, there we go. Now my RO unit is free to go. Okay. All right, so I got the RODI unit on the bench here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drain. My carbon block and sediment block look really good. Uh, even my DI chamber actually doesn't look uh, bad at all. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna do anything with my membrane because it's an absolute pain in the ass. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and take off, I don't have my little wrench. I don't need my wrench. Crap. I don't need my wrench. I don't need no stinking wrench. There we go. Here's one coming off. Now be careful you don't drop these because these are uh, easy to break. Right now this has started to turn into the fail of the century. I'm having a hard time. My camera keeps running out of memory. So I'm still working on getting these off here. This is my carbon block. I'm looking at these a little bit closer and they do look, I mean, very, they're not dirty really at all. But they're, they're dirty now-ish. And there we go, the DI chamber. All right, here's my unit, and here's my DI resin. <laughs> you guys ever notice that DI resin smells like shit? So here is uh, my cartridge, that drain, and this is how we're gonna change it. There's threads on the bottom here. Let me see if I make sure I'm in camera. Threads at the bottom. Some of them, the threads are at the top. There you go, and we're gonna be taking this DI resin out. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to take my carbon block out and I want to go over it, kind of inspect it and uh, actually the carbon block looks good. Yeah, the carbon block looks good. What I'm looking for is discoloration and deterioration of the actual carbon block and um, it still feels pretty solid and uh, like I said, it's not dirty. So this will be getting reused. Put this somewhere cleanish. That's good enough. And get rid of this water. I'm getting rid of all the water in the system right now. Um, so when I start up the new uh, with the new DI resin, I'll have clean water coming out right off the bat. Uh, let's see the sediment filter. I've been running this guys, this sediment filter for over a year, and uh, I mean it's not even really discolored at all. Uh, I might change this. I might go run and get another one. Uh, just so I can say that I've changed it, but uh, this actually looks really good. Um, it's not really, I mean, there's a little bit of discoloration, but hardly at all. Let's see if that'll focus. So, 
And like I said, this is over a year old. All right, let me empty this chamber. And there's still gonna be some water in the membrane, but I don't feel like fucking with the membrane right now. So let's get going on emptying the uh, DI out here. Let me find my little trash can. Sorry if you're sensitive to loud noise. All right, so this is gonna be, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory really. Um, just gonna dump this shit out. And what I'm gonna do now is the remainder of this DI resin, I'm gonna go over to my RDI bucket here and I'm going to fill this up and kind of swish it out and get the rest of the resin out. And it looks fairly clean. I'm gonna do it one more time. I'm gonna clean the cap too. Alright, so this is nice and clean now. We're ready to go to uh, repack it with the new stuff. And uh, as you can tell here, this is the, uh, the silica buster. This is the one that I really, really recommend for you guys if you're having algae problems. Is uh, the silica buster from SpectraPure. Uh, this is the best DI resin that I have used to date. So um, that's why I recommend it. But like I said, we're going to go ahead and go with the uh, BRS stuff for right now. Alright, I will come back at you. Alright guys, I'm back at you. We're going to go ahead and get going on refilling this DI resin. Um, <clears throat> so of course we got our DI canister here. I'm working on a lid here just so I don't make a huge mess here. We're using the back of this toothbrush uh, with this funnel so I can get the resin in there and not make a huge mess. And the toothbrush I'm going to use to uh, persuade the material down into uh, the chamber here. And here we go, like I said, the BRS resin, not my highly, most highly recommended, but uh, we'll see how it does. I'm going to take a reading, uh, TDS reading um, with the old RO water, and then uh, after, I'm going to run probably about 10 gallons of RO through this before I use it for the tank. So after I do that, then we'll take another RO reading with the TDS meter and see uh, what we get. You can see here the, the resin is actually kind of moist, so that's why I got the toothbrush to do some persuading uh, with the material if I need to. It's actually not going that bad. The Spectre stuff that I usually get is a lot chunkier than this. Alright, you're going to see we're getting to the top here, and once we get to the top of this, I'm going to show you, we need to uh, start packing the material. I'm going to put the cap back on for this. Okay, now we want to start giving this some good taps on the table, and you'll see how much we just compressed that material. And we want to really compress this stuff really, really good. So let me get the rest of the material in there and we'll go to town on banging this thing up. Get it packed. I need some persuasion. That stuff at the bottom of the bag is definitely much more moist. Still got, still got quite a bit of resin. All right, we'll pack our material a little bit better, and you can feel it 
on the actual cartridge itself, it starts getting pretty firm. Now I'm going to take this to the ground and I'm going to beat it on the ground also. Um, but for right now, I'm just to get the rest of this material in. Just keep repeating the process as we go along, keep putting the DI resin down. I'm going to go to the floor here real quick. You don't want to beat it too hard, you don't want to break your, uh, your cartridge. <laughs> I just thought of that myself as I'm throwing it on the ground. Alright, I'm almost, yep, this is the last of it right here. It's actually quite a bit that's still in there. So I don't like discarding anything. I like using everything that I get. I paid for it, might as well use it. There we go. Got an empty bag. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, do this a couple of light taps and put my cap on. And then I am going to, once again, do the packing. sure the cartridge is tight. All right, and there you go. That is how you change your uh, DI resin, and you can feel it. The, the cartridge is really, really tight. It's not loose. But yeah, that feels really good. Happy with that. Um, yeah, so that is, uh, I already said it, that's how you change your DI resin, and what you want to do is just put your RO unit back together in the reverse order that you took it apart. Um, I like to run about five to ten gallons uh, through the new DI resin, um, just just as a precaution. I mean, they, they'll tell you in the directions also um, to run a couple of gallons through the new RO filters, whether it be a carbon block, uh, a membrane, um, DI resin. It's just a precaution to have to take. I can't exactly tell you why because I don't know, um, but that's just what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna run probably about five to ten gallons through it. <clears throat> and then start uh, filling up my RO container and we'll take a TDS reading uh, with the TDS meter which um, let's go out and take a reading with the TDS meter right now on uh, what my RO is right now. Alright here we are at the RO bin. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm gonna use this because this is clean and I'm going to get some water. I'm not really worried about discarding the water that's in my RO container right now because uh, I feel that it's bad. Um, I've been noticing a little bit of a, a brown, not algae, but a brown film-ish kind of thing starting to uh, develop on my sand bed, so that's how I know my RO is starting to kind of go bad. So here we go, I got my water in here, here's the TDS meter, we're currently at zero right now. Let's read TDS right now, I'm at 310, I don't know if my camera will focus on that, Three, about 300, 310. That's where we're at now, so that's our baseline. We'll come back with the new DI resin and uh, test it again after we get some new water. So right now at this time, I'm actually gonna take the time and clean uh, my RODI bin out. Um, you can see I got my RODI in it set back up, but I'm actually gonna take and clean the bin out. Um, any film algae that it might have, just, need, just gonna spray it out. So uh, I'm emptying the rest of it now. I only had about five gallons, maybe 10 gallons in there, so I'm just gonna drain it. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to clean the RO bin out, and I'll come back at you guys. Okay, we've got it all cleaned out. I'm just going to let it air out for a little bit, and we'll get the uh, new DI going. All right, and here we go. Got the RO unit all set up, running right now. Already checked it for leaks, and we're good to go. We're making some clean RO. Let's see where we uh, end up. I'm going to let this run a little bit. I already ran a couple gallons through it before I put it in my bin. So, uh, See what we get. 
Oh shit, don't forget to turn the valve off. Alright, come back at you. Got the DI running now. I'm gonna get some water out of it and test the TDS. Awesome, I like that your car's here now. Excuse me. <laughs> Alright, so TDS meter's reset to zero. Got my new RO in here. Alright, and we are reading zero TDS, so filter change was a success. Hope you enjoyed it.